Welcome back aliens, my name is Devin Reddy and in this video we'll talk about Spring Framework. When you talk about the enterprise market, the most famous language there is Java because when you want to build huge applications which are scalable, secure, Java is preferred. And the one of the biggest ecosystem for the enterprise applications is in Java. And the framework, the most famous framework for Java is Spring. Now when I say most famous, there are other frameworks as well, which are quite famous, but not more than Spring because it solves the problem of developers. See, Spring started in 2003. It's not a new framework, right? It's, it's old, it's been 21 years now. The reason it started is to solve the problem of Java EE. Java EE is used to build enterprise application and it was great. The only problem is it was complex and heavy. To make it lightweight, to make it simple, Spring came up with a project. And of course, initially it was a project, but later on, they added some more projects. So initially it was Spring Framework, which provides some features. And later on, they started adding more modules to it. And now when you say Spring is not just a framework or a project, it's basically an umbrella. It has multiple sub projects to it. And whenever you want to build enterprise level solutions and not just that, if you, even if you want to make a simple application, you can use Spring. One of the issue a lot of people talk about about Spring is it's heavy, It's uh, you have to write a lot of codes in Java, not with the latest version of Java and not with Spring Framework. Spring basically has something called Spring Boot and using that you can build your first API in minutes maybe two minutes, it's that fast. Spring Framework, it's fun, it has multiple modules. So let me just head towards the Spring Framework or Spring website. So you can go to spring.io and it has details about everything. So what is Spring? Uh, you can see they have different events coming up, ignore that. Uh, so what you can do with Spring is you can build microservices, you can build reactive applications, you can build for cloud, you can build web applications, serverless, uh, I mean, multiple options are there. But the beauty is if you go to the Spring projects, now this is a project and if you expand this, it's huge. When I say huge, I just have to click on view all projects. And every time I go to this place, there's a chance that there will be new project added. Example, we got Spring, Spring Boot, I was talking about it is one of the easiest way to build projects. Uh, we got Spring Framework, Spring Cloud, Spring Data, Spring Security, Spring AI. So yeah, we can also build AI applications using Spring now. Uh, we got a uh, thing which I use, Spring Web Services. And there are other projects as well, which you can see here. Initial days, we used to, they used to keep everything in one section, but now we have a separate sections for it, the extra projects. So this are the projects which we have in Spring. So basically it provides you a lot of different features. One of the best features about Spring, and that's how it started, is dependency injection. What exactly it is, we'll talk about in the upcoming videos. The plan is to actually create the entire series for Spring. And you might be saying, hey, we already have that on channel. What we have on channel is Spring 5. We're talking about Spring 6. And for that, basically, I need motivation. Of course, it will take a lot of time and I need motivation from you. Of course, I will motivate you to learn and practice it. You have to also motivate me to keep making videos. You can do that by commenting on this video. Also like the video so that I will know that, yes, I have to spend uh, enough time and energy to make this series and you are waiting for it. So let me know that by liking the video, comment something in the videos, maybe spring or uh, waiting for the next video. I need comments that give me the motivation and it also helps the YouTube algorithm to promote the video, right? Uh, so you can do that in the comments and maybe the setting the target is a new trend. So maybe let's say 50 comments, let's start slow and then we'll build up. So yeah, in the entire series, the plan is to actually talk about dependency injection, Spring Core, uh, Spring Web. You can build web application using Spring and we have talked about the project here. So we have that in the Spring. Uh, we can have web Spring Web. We can also have Spring Data JPA for, data, for database connectivity. Uh, we'll talk about Spring Boot, how do you build application. So the, the idea is to also make videos on Spring Security. Uh, we have talked about Spring Data. Also the cloud applications, cloud deployment. And again, I need your motivation there. So yeah, that's it from Spring. Spring is a framework using which you can build enterprise level applications. To know more, uh, wait for the upcoming videos. See you in the next video, everyone. Bye-bye.